loves the bride, but the flower girl usually steals the show. So, I mean, it's fun, it's beautiful, it's happy. My name is Belinda Sarui, and I'm the CEO, president of Flower Girl Dress for Less. My grandmother, one was a seamstress, the other one was a, a wedding cake maker. And I love bling, and I love sequins, and I love all kinds of you know, crazy fabrics, and you know, that's kind of what kids' clothes are all about. We show every single dress that's made by every single label. There's like 30,000 different products that you can choose from. I went to design school, and, um, but I was told by a professor that I would never make any money in children's, so I stayed in women's. And then I met my husband, and he said, you're, you know, you really love to do kid stuff. Why aren't you doing kid stuff? And I said, okay, I need to make this change in my life. Hi, my name is Sasson Sarui. I'm the technology and marketing head for Flower Girl Dress for Less. Look at your flowers. It was definitely early on. We saw the internet growing leaps and bounds. It was clear to, to me and to Belinda that that was going to be the future. We just felt very strongly about just going strictly after online business. We built our own site and, you know, we started shooting a lot of videos and producing a lot of custom content. You are doing so good, my princess. Everything is about research, market research. And so I saw that there were people going to a wedding store and paying $150 for a flower girl dress. Whereas with us, I decided, okay, I would be a discounter and we would do a volume based business. And I really didn't know if I was gonna make it or not. I really didn't. I knew that I knew how to work hard. Beautiful. I don't know if it's luck or just the, the, all the planning of my, my background and my history, but you know, for us, it became successful. Having a customer write back in and say that they had a kit that they were just so happy and they didn't want to take the dress off. That's probably the best thing. 